Hi, my name's John. Welcome to another Sunday night nightcap. In the first of tonight's nightcaps, I make some BSP plugs out of bronze. There's a little bit of thread work, uh, some milling to put a hex on, all the other work. I'm sure you'll find that fairly interesting. In part two, I make a device for holding vice grips in my welding shop. Uh, I've got stuff piled up everywhere and space is a premium for me and I found a cracking idea on the internet, not my idea, I'm just copying of a really simple method to store wool grips, so I'll show a little bit of making that. And there's also some more view on me will come in, I'll show a little bit of that. This is a boiler drain plug from a miniature traction engine, and you can see the threads are damaged on the end. This is made out of bronze, not brass, you don't use brass on steel applications, and I've got to make two of these. I'm sure it's called a BSP. Quarter BSP is 19 TPI and that fits in there perfectly. The diameter is about 5 eighth normally, which that is. Now I have got a 5 eighth BSP die that will make my life quite simple. I've got no hexy bronze bar, but I've got a piece of round bronze bar there. I'll be able to get them out of that. And what I can do is put it into this collar chuck, machine the hex on, then go across to the lathe and make the actual plugs. So the first thing to do is put a hex on that piece of bar. Make sure I get enough to get two plugs out. Don't want to waste any because this stuff's becoming more and more expensive. So you need two of them. That gives us enough. Yep, definitely. And it means I can use the same the same collet on the lathe. Simple case of turning that round like that to index in every flat. We'll grip it on the flat pieces as opposed to the points. Find a suitable cutter, do a little bit of maths, and then we can get it machined. Okay, so if we simply measure across the flats on here. 18.9, 18.9, so it's three quarter. So we we'll zero that. Then we'll measure the diameter of the piece of round stop we've got, which gives us six point, which gives us seven mil. So if we take 3.5 mil off each side, that should bring it down to 19. So 3.5, 3.5. I think I'll do it off the side and I can do it in one cut, I'm not quite sure. Probably do it that way like that. And then turn it, it's supposed to go in along the top. I'll see what other cutters I've got. Right, we'll just touch this off. Right, I'm dialing in a 3.5mm cut, I'm still going to do it in one cut. Okay, 3.5, we'll lock everything off, it doesn't need to be moved. Nice and gently. Make sure you stop the mill before you try and move that, you don't want to be getting your fingers untangled in there. It will spoil your day. 
and it will go opposite and then we can measure it. So we're looking for 19 mil or zero, which it is, and near enough. We we'll zero that. We'll go in. We'll get 19, 19 and a half mil, which is a funny hair over three quarters. That'll be fine. Right, once again. I haven't quite taken it right off the edge. I mean, it's slightly wider cut off, possibly. But I think that little bit will be out there. No problem, no problem at all. Down again, taking that point four mil off to make it exactly 19 or exactly three quarter. So that's a bit of basic hexi material ready to machine. A friend of mine runs a CNC machine and he can put hexes on on the layers so you can machine a bolt and the head goes in and mills a hex on. Clever stuff it is, really clever. Depth of the thread part is 13 mil, which will be living half inch originally. And from the zero, we take our row. That's it there. Uh, 13. Power feed on it. Stop just short of the shoulder. And we'll sort that out on its last cut. We'll just get some measuring done. 
he won 4.3 mil off that. Two mil a side. You put a one mil cut on. This is the last cut, and we'll put a little lead on and then we'll get it split die and I want to adjust the die to make a tight thread and just to see it, the biggest thread I can cut with a quarter die. And the nice and tight in the holes. We're into the shoulder. So there we've got a lovely, lovely square shoe of that. Little lead on there for the die to start on. And I'm just going to knock off the edges. The corner of the board, corner of the board. Just like that. Right. Right, so that's the quarter BSP die I'm going to use. It starts from one side, normally the side where the writing is actually. There's a slight taper on there. Once I've got the threads cut and the job's done, I will screw the parts into the die that way around just to get right over the shoulder. That's three screws in the die holder. The two outer ones started from turning. And the centre one is the adjuster because it's a split die piss off which is split die so you can adjust it not very much but you can adjust how slack or tight you make the thread so we want it as slack as possible so I'm going to open the die up by tightening that one and we'll nip these two up it isn't going to go anywhere and we'll slow the layer down and see if we can get some threads on it Right. Just caught out in time on the fans here so far. Makes such a nice sharp thread, really sharp thread. And once I put the die on the other way around, it will sort it out quite nicely. I'm making sure that the tool is sitting at 90 degrees to the job, the parting tool, which is very important. I know it's on centre height because I spent a lot of time setting it up. That's pretty good. Right, that's a two mil tip on there. You measure how thick the head needs to be. Seven mil. So if we touch that off, put it there like that. Then go along nine mil. Which is there. That'll give me the correct thickness for the head. Nice and gently. Right, before I part it off, zero the DRO there. I'm going to put the chamfer onto the top of the bullet head. I don't want to have to take. I don't have to grip it on the threaded part so we can use that just to nicely put the stamper on. That looks pretty good. And back in with the parting tool. 
I pick up my zero, which is there, spot on. We'll carry on, pawn it off. Should have a nice finish. I'm very tempted to put my fingers in there and hold that, but I'm not going to, especially when the camera's running. left a little tip on there unfortunately which that's not the end of the world. I've put a small collet here and I've decided to face the end of the sort of the hex head off just to make it nice. I'm not really happy the way it turned out. A little nip on there so it doesn't damage the threads. That was an RPM. A little stove off. Go on really fine cut across there. Right, that's better. Next finish looks like somebody actually cares. Two little brass blanket plugs. Right, so that's one of the one of the finished articles. And I'll lend the ladder quarter parallel tap to clean the threads up and the, the socket to go into but that is slightly oversized so it should screw in quite nicely there'll be a copper washer goes on there as well